Hi everyone, this is Take 5 with Pastor John. I've titled it this evening, I've titled it this evening, The Church is Creative and Full of Innovation. Um, I generally give a definition at the beginning of every one of our sessions, and this one is no difference. I'm using the word create. The verb is to use the imagination to invent things or produce works of art or to bring something into existence. Now here's our scripture if you want to write it down. It's the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 42 to 47. All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper, and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders, and all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshipped together at the temple each day. They met in homes for the Lord's Supper. And they shared their meals with great joy and generosity. All the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. What a beautiful description of the New Testament church in its very earliest of days. That's the scripture we have there. There's a few thoughts I've been thinking about or pondering on, and I just wanted to share them quickly and uh, let, let you think about them as well, because uh, I, I believe we do need innovation and creativity in the church once again, so that we have some very fresh oil being poured into the into the wineskins of of the the church's repository here's some thoughts to ponder number 1 they say that necessity is the mother of invention when when you need something bad enough you'll attempt at getting it by building it by sacrificing for it through experimentation by trial and error as you observe the church over the last couple hundred of years, it certainly has had its involvement in that process. The church has been very creative. The church has been very um, innovative in the things that it does. And th thus the church exploded. The New Testament church explodes wherever there's a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. If we're not careful, stagnation and plateauing uh, and death will set in. If you don't dream and have fresh visions, no, no wonder there are so many new churches popping up everywhere, many of them being started and led by very young ministers who have new visions. I think it's time for the church again to begin to dream big, huge. As we watch another recession or depression sneak up on us, we have a short window of time to begin to look for ways to help people survive. One such way is to revitalize our approach in helping young people get married. Now you say, uh, that's a strange subject or topic, but not really. We have wondered for a long time why young people are leaving the church in droves and why many times we can't reach them with the gospel. I'd, I'd like to suggest that as a recession appears on the horizon, maybe many are experiencing it already or in the middle of it, that this is one way that the church could become involved in young people's lives. More and more, we're hearing of young people just living together. It used to be called living in sin because they basically just can't afford a normal wedding. And a normal wedding these days involves multiple thousands of dollars, upwards of thirty, fifty thousand dollars Now I believe that this is an area that church can take leadership in and it can create the Christian culture that we need when it comes to this very holy, important part of young people's lives. So we need to have the creative ability in changing the church and in changing the culture for good. Like, why would we allow our young people to jeopardize their futures like this? And not just theirs, but, but their children's as well. We believe in the community of believers that we call the church. 
it means we can all pitch in and help. We can find ways to help our young people get married for $3,000 or $5,000 or less, but not the life-draining experience of the present. Let's help them live above the stigma of depression, of discouragement, hopelessness, and fear, because there is a future in God, and there is a future for these young people. Now, how, how could we help it? Let's look at maybe some practical ways that we could just sort of pitch in and maybe help. I've suggested a few. How could we help them, young people, to get married without the huge debt load that so many of them carry for five or ten years afterwards? Well, we have a lot of resources in the church at our disposal. So, so why don't we give them the use of the church building for free instead of the charge? I, I know it costs money to run a church. I've pastored for a long time. But if, if people are attending our church and already giving tithes and offerings, and they're faithful, and they're workers in the church, that, like, why, why wouldn't we just offer that for those that are interested in being married? Second, why don't we have a, 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 the wedding officiant donate their fee? Instead of having to pay for somebody to marry you, you could actually have a, a pastor or a wedding officiant. Uh, I conducted so many weddings. I never asked for a fee. I've conducted funerals. I've never asked for a fee. All my life, I've never. Some people chose to give something, a small amount, but that, that wasn't part. We could give it back. And I think we could help our young people in just those couple of ways. We could have a good, somebody in the church that's a good cook or a baker that could make that, that, that cake. Usually it could cost three, five hundred dollars, heaven knows how much these days, but we could have somebody provide that, that would be a very excellent substitute. Um, we could really get rid of the excessive, extravagant receptions, and the food, and the dancing, and the bars, and the liquor that are being served so many times at Christian weddings anymore. There's so many ways that we could cut back on uh, these expenses that are so unnecessary for a a young person to be able to get married and be able to have a satisfactory life. We could use semi-professional photographers. There's always some that we know as friends that would be really happy to be able to uh, donate that kind of a service uh, to our young people, maybe even one of their friends as well. We could forget about the limousines. We could let someone make the dresses instead of the two or three thousand dollars a piece that people are paying for dresses. Uh, let's encourage, this is where my heart is, let's encourage Christian youth to take the lead in this as well. That instead of them just living together, that they find ways, new ways, innovative ways of having a, a proper wedding, an excellent wedding, a wedding that, that, that uh, exemplifies their belief and their faith in Christ. They'll be just as married as their parents and they won't be 10 years in debt. I, I, hope, I hope you're hearing my heart in this, um, because I believe a crisis of unheard proportions uh, is heading our way. And we are ignoring it like ostriches was with their, their head in the sand. But we need to bring hope and inspiration to the young people that are around us, and many who want to join our churches, but are many times confused or afraid. And finally, I believe the Holy Spirit is both a revitalizer. I think he brings, I think he brings new life, but I think he also revives life, and he's extremely creative. The Holy Spirit is an extremely creative person. So if we get our act together with him, then maybe we can help stop the loss of youth from our churches, at least in this one way, and we'll share other ways as time goes along. So. My suggestion is, it's worth a try, eh? Like, look at the scripture we read. They were people who had great joy and great peace and great community, which meant that they shared everything that they had to be able to help one another. Let's, let's maybe give this a try and bring new life to the church. Thank you for watching, and God bless.